Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a really really late Premier League prediction. I already made my Eredivisie predictions and I kind of really wanted to do a Premier League as well, Premier League edition on the prediction uh, base, but yeah, I just didn't really get the chance before I went to Spain. So now I'm recording it on a day where I'm back home. So let's skip all this stuff about me and let's talk about the Premier League because I'm going to be starting off with 20th place in the league and I think it's going to be Ipswich. I'm really sorry. Like I, I just don't see them winning any games, which uh, is really mean to say, but they haven't really made any signings where I where I'm like, yeah, they're gonna stay up. Uh, Calvin Phillips, I I I liked him because he's he was really good at Leeds, but he just isn't a good signing anymore. And yeah, I just when I see their team, I don't recognize any of their players, and that could just be me being ignorant and not knowing anything about their club. But I also don't really think it's all on me. So I think they're twentieth. Now, just above them, a tiny bit above them, I think this is going to be a team that I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be quite sad seeing them going down, if they go, do go down, but I have put Nottingham Forest 19th. I know they could, they're probably going to be fighting, like it's going to be really tight in every other relegation battle place other than last. So it was kind of hard for me to decide where to put them. But I have put them to go down last season. They just about escaped it. And I think this season is going to be the end of them in the Premier League. And hopefully they'll return. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they'll survive this season. Now the last team that is going to get relegated in my opinion. I'm just going to switch it up because I have a tier list here. It's going to be Bournemouth. Yeah, it, it, this is basically my dark horse prediction. Where... I don't really know why, but I do feel like Bournemouth isn't going to go and do well. They have lost Solanke, which was basically like their biggest point, like their biggest uh, player of getting points. Like he was the reason why they were uh, at mid-table at least. So without him, uh, they have bought a decent striker. I can't remember his name currently, but I have heard of him before. So maybe they'll survive, but Solanke scored a lot of goals last season and I don't think they'll get that currently. And I also just don't want to put every single promoter team going down again. Now, 17th, I've put Leicester City. I love Leicester. I think it's a really fun club. But I don't think they're going to do that great. I think they're just about going to survive. Jamie Vardy's going to score 60 goals in 20 games and they're just going to stay up. I, I just feel like they're, they're just a strong enough squad to stay up. But if they do, all, like last season, they almost bottled the league. I say almost because they haven't, but they did almost bottle the league. And if they do it in the Premier League, if they like start slacking up and losing more games than they should, it could bite them. It could bite them back. Uh, so I hope they're going to stay up and I do think they're just about going to stay up. Now another team that's going to be in the relegation battle is another promoter team, Southampton. I have put them 15th in the league. I I don't really... Oh, it's 16th. I'm sorry, it's 16th in the league. Um, I just don't feel like they're going to do great. They're not going to be too special to go up on mid-table. Like, like upper mid-table. And they're not going to be good enough to escape the relegation battle. Not the relegation zone, but the relegation battle. They're going to be in there. And I think that's fine. That's a good place for them. On to 15. And I've put Brentford there. They still haven't lost Ivan Tony, Who is still really decent. He's still kind of good. But I just don't see them doing well. I think last season they were... Let me check. Last season they were 16, so they're gonna go up one spot. But I think it's mostly, for me, it's mostly because they just have worse opponents. Like Ipswich, for example, I think they're gonna get a couple of points against them. They're gonna get a couple of points against Nottingham Forest, for example. Like those teams, I think they're gonna get a lot of points against. 
It's just some small wins. Now, 15th. 15th, I just said 15. 14th in the league is going to be Everton for me. They should have gone down like 20 seasons ago. But they're, they're still staying strong. Uh, they're doing all right. And I think they're just going to stay like middle of the league. Uh, last season they were what they were 15, so one spot up again. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Now this is a team that I've put in the exact same spot. I've put Fulham in 13th. I just they they have lost Palinha, who is amazing. I think they've lost someone else on the, on the top of my head. Okay, so they have signed Smith Rowe. I was right in my head about that. They have signed Ryan Sessignon. Which I don't know if that's a good signing. They signed him on a free. Uh, but they have sold Palinha, Adra Bioyo. It's gone to Chelsea. Uh, like, I do think Palinha is a big loss. It's a big, big loss for them. Uh, but I do also think Smith Rowe will tear up the league. Uh, that's, that's, I think Smith Rowe will do all right. So that's why I put them in the same spot. Now, 12th in the league, Wolves. Wolves have just become, really become a team that's just middle of the league. They're not going to do anything special in the season, but they're just going to be... They're going to be fine with where they're at. Last season they were 14th. I think it's just... Because of other teams becoming worse, I think they're going to go up a bit to 12th. And I think that's a good job for them. And I think it's fine. I think this one will be... Like, they'll either be like one spot up or one spot below the 13th, uh, the 12th spot. And I think that's fine. Now, Crystal Palace have sold Olise, um, who was great. Uh, they still have SA, to be fair, they still have SA. Um, but I think 11th place is just where they belong. Just a small step down from what they were last season. But it's fine. Like, I think they're just going to be the same again, but with one less attacker. So a bit less goals. And that's why they've gone down one spot. Now, on to 10th. So we're almost, basically we're halfway there. We're halfway there right now. And I've put on 10th position, I've put Brighton. I just don't, I don't really know what happens at Brighton, really. Like, they just, they sign a player no one knows. They perform well and they sell them for 80 million to Chelsea. And somehow it just works, it keeps working and then they just stay uh, mid-table. Which I just think they, they're gonna be 10th. I just feel like they're gonna go above Crystal Palace. And just below the team that I've put 9th. Which this is one that I think this will get me a bit of hate. Which I will accept. Because I've put Newcastle United at 9th. Because I do genuinely think they're going to lose Isaac. Which I, I know is going to sound bad. But if they lose Isaac, which I'm basing this off. Because he's been linked with like 6 different teams. If they lose him, I think they'll go 9th. And that's why I'm basing this off. off. So, yeah. I can't do anything else. They have also lost him. They had quite a few injuries. And if they keep the, those injuries like up, like if there, there are gonna be a lot of injuries in this team. And if it's just gonna keep happening, they just not they're just not gonna improve. And ninth, I think, is harsh, but I think it's also fair. Now, eighth. So just underneath your conference league, I've put Chelsea. I'm sorry, but I just I can't see Chelsea doing well. Last season they had an amazing run in the last few games, but I can't see them doing well again to that point. Like I can't see them getting European football really. Also they are gonna be playing uh, European football this season, which I think will... I mean they they have like 50 players, so it doesn't really matter for them. They can just put on a new, completely new lineup every single day, but I think that's also the reason why they are gonna do shite, really. Like they're gonna drop off a bit. Maybe I'll switch them around with Newcastle. Maybe. But not now. But Chelsea, I think, yeah, this is 
you can't get match rhythm in your system when you're a player when you just switch the team around every single time. Like I know a couple of their players are gonna, of course, be the like the main characters of the team. Like Palmer is gonna play almost every match uh, if he stays. Uh, Gallagher is gonna play every single. Has he transferred to Atletico? Don't know, but. Like a couple of their players are of course going to be playing a lot of matches, but I think most of them will just be subbed out, subbed in, subbed out, subbed in. And it's just going to be a long, big mess for Chelsea. I also do think that they have a lot of players who are really, really injury prone. Now, seventh in the league. I have a shirt for the, of them, but I'm not going to grab it. It's going to be West Ham. I just... West Ham have absolutely cooked in the transfer window. They have signed so many good players that you can't you can't get underneath Europa Conference League you can't get underneath the Conference League I know they lost against Aston Villa but it was a tight match I just feel I just feel like they're gonna do well this season with those players that they signed they're basically doing a career mode with a lot of young good talents being brought in and I like it I really really like it I love it uh, so seven for them and another Conference League uh, season afterwards. Now in the Europa League, fifth and sixth. Uh, is it? Is it those numbers still? Like I genuinely don't even know anymore. Uh, but sixth place, I have put Aston Villa. I think they're gonna drop off a bit, and I think sixth is gonna be where they're gonna be at basically. Like. Playing Champions League is going to be tough for them. And I know they played Conference League last season, which, I mean, it just doesn't, it isn't the same. I know you're playing two matches a week with ease, with both tournaments, but it's just not the same Champions League. Champions League is a lot harder and it's going to take a lot more out of your players. And they have also lost Douglas Luiz, who is really, really good. Now, fifth, I have put Tottenham Hotspur. I know everybody kind of feel, I, I like me as well, I feel like they're going to get Champions League. But I, like my mind is telling me that they're not going to be, my mind is telling me that they're going to be getting Champions League. But I just don't feel like they're going to be getting Champions League. So when I think about it, about how I want the table to look like, uh, or what, what I think the table will look like, I think Tottenham will be like fourth or third maybe even. But I just can't seem to put them there without feeling like they don't they shouldn't be there so i've put them fifth um i don't think they've lost anyone really they also haven't really bought a plan oh they bought solenki didn't they they bought solenki which is a great signing don't get me wrong um but i just don't think they're gonna get like the top four spots now fourth is gonna be tough because I don't know why I put them there. Manchester United. Like, in England, I'm a Leeds fan. I've said this man a lot of times on this channel. But I just get the feeling that Man United will get back to their former glory. And then, of course, not former glory is in winning the Prem. But I feel like they could actually get top four. The Ligt is a great signing, by the way. I am biased because I am a big De Ligt fan. But... He is great. Don't really know why Erik ten Hag only buys Ajax players. Or ex-Ajax players. But yeah, it, it just they have signed a couple of great players. They have sold a few players that needed to be sold. The only player that I really think needs to change right now is probably Casemiro. Because he's just too old, really. But yeah, I think they're going to be fourth. It just feels like they're going to be fourth to me. Third in the league. I have put Liverpool. E course. I just, I don't know what to say, really. Liverpool, they still have the exact same team. They haven't sold anyone. They haven't bought anyone um, as well. So what can I say about them? They'll probably just stay the same. Of course, a new coach is going to be tough. They had a bit of a tough time scoring against Ipswich, but then... When they scored it one, they scored a few. Um, but it, yeah, I just think they're going to be third again. And I think that's fine. Now, 
Second or first, who do I think is going to win the league? It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be City. City's winning the league. Arsenal's going to be second. Let's be honest, guys. The Premier League is becoming a farmer's league. I'm just saying this to rage bait. Don't get me wrong, but... The Premier League is becoming a farmer's league. City is just way too good for any other team to compete. I know last season was like, oh, Arsenal's going to win the league. And all the Arsenal fans are still saying they're going to win the league. But I think they've missed it. They missed their chance with two seasons in a row. I just don't think they're going to do it. I just can't see them doing it, winning the league. I'm sad for them because I have a mate of mine who's an Arsenal fan. Like, genuine Arsenal fan. And I feel sad for him. But other than that, I'm just being, like, I'm being realistic. And first, yeah, City. They, they're just too good, man. They, they're just too good. They, they've got in Savinho, who is amazing. Uh, who played amazing for Girona, at least. Um, I know he was part of the City group already, but they brought him in. And it's just a good signing. And I just don't see them failing. I know it's Pep's last, it's probably going to be Pep's last season. Um, and I don't think he'll want to end his last season without a Premier League title. And I think he's going to push that team to do it again. So, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below what I did completely wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what I did completely right. And I'll see you guys around in a bit. Bye.